Hi everyone, welcome to Bulunmaz YouTube channel. Welcome. Welcome. We will work on a bangle with Ringmaker CNC machine today, but first we need to be sure that our bangle is perfectly round. There are several options to make your bangle round, but we are using a bangle forming machine. When you prepare your bangle and solder it, all you need to do is to put on bangle former and tight it until it becomes perfectly round. It has a really simple mechanism, so when you pull with your hand, it just tightens the bangle and makes it a perfect round shape. When your bangle is ready and you are sure that it's perfectly round, you can go to CNC machine and start the operation, please. Ringmaker is a 4-axis CNC machine you can use on rings, bangles and now even flat pieces with the 5th axis option. First of all, uh, I need uh, two dimensions. First, width and after that, I'm writing here. Another dimension, diameter. I'm writing here in bangles weight. When you check your sizes and enter the control panel, all you need to do is to put your bangle inside Ringmaker. Now I am starting, I am making background model. Our bangle is ready to work, so we just need to make the last settings of how the machine will work, how fast the machine will work, what kind of model we will have. Can you show how it works? Of course. First of all, I am open one model in bank. There is too much background model and I chose this model. After that, I need to some settings. First of all, active tool. I am chosen T3 because we are making T3 background tool. That's a number of the tool which we will work. We will work on horizontal background tool. Velocity should be 10 per step. And width by the bangle width. Width is 30 and model width should 30. So it's like the same. The bangle width is 30 mm and my model width will be again 30 mm just to cover all around my bangle. We set all settings and after we can start. Operation. We completed the background operation with Ringmaker and Furkan is searching for a nice model for you that we can use and uh, introduce you our diamond cut head. Diamond cut head is working with diamond tools and it's working horizontal way. It can turn around 360 degree and all you do is to put small dots on your design so the machine can follow your dots and put diamond cuts and you will get a shiny diamond cut design which is exactly looking like an imitation of a human hand.
already completed the operation we made first background tool then diamond cut and now we will complete our basic bangle with uh, line tool line tool yes line, line tool. tool three three operation three operation on this bangle background three op background diamond uh, cut diamond cut background uh, diamond tool diamond tool and, and line tool. Uh, line tool three tool we use in this bangle the, and now the last operation hello uh, my mother also here uh, we are all family company mother brother and Little bird. Little bird. Little bird. Line two. Do you know what is line two? Line two. Line two. This look bangle for you. Okay. that is ready we completed with the third operation even my mother was here to visit us the name of our machine is ringmaker but you can also work on bangles any kind of bangles don't forget just it needs to be flat or at a limited radius let's have a close look on our model you just easily take it out and it's almost ready for to be sold in the market and now i made it this model i'm using this three tools one tool Cosolux for machine tool, another one T4 long background tool, and the other one CNC line tool. This model makes time 3-4 minutes. I am using in the bank model. I didn't use custom model, but if you want, you can make custom model. I hope you like Ringmaker in operation making a bangle and our great technician Furkan, we made a bangle for you today but have a check on our YouTube channel. You will find many other videos about Ringmaker, Bangle Master, our mechanical machines, diamond tools, hand cutting, many other different products to get different ideas for your jewelry production. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. See you again in the next video.